What's going on everybody? It is uh, me, Darskator7, and today I figured I would do a quick tutorial on how to set your custom fan curves with IQ software that's from Corsair. If you watch any of the earlier videos that I have, uh, you can see that in my build, I did replace all the case fans with Corsair fans. So with that, it comes uh, with a program called uh, Corsair IQ, and that's what's going to monitor your fans and what's gonna control um, the uh, speed of your fans as far as like the uh, temperature goes in your case. So what you would want to do if you are a owner of Corsair fans and you have IQ on your computer, you want to open up your IQ. Now for me, uh, it shows all of my devices on here. It doesn't show my RAM, but it shows all my devices that are hooked up. And then for me, I would go to my Commander Pro and you see uh, performance, graphing, uh, lighting setup, lighting channel one and lighting channel two. And then if you look over to your right, you can see your fans. Now right now it's set for quiet and it's fluctuating between 1300 RPM and 1400 RPM. The reason why the RPMs are going up and down is because for Ryzen chips, they do fluctuate with their temperatures quite often. Well, the program, uh, it's set to actually fluctuate the speed of the fans based on the temperature of the uh, CPU. And right now it's very annoying because it's going up and down. You can actually go to graphing and you can see exactly how that's working. It's pretty much all over the place. So if you want to set a custom fan curve for your specific CPU, you would hit performance and then you hit the plus sign right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter that and I'm going to name it after my CPU. So I'll say uh, 3950X and then let that roll. And then if you go down here for your custom, there's a drop down box. Now, once you look at that drop down box, in most cases, if you have a Ryzen CPU, maybe even for Intel, it'll show uh, exactly what it is that you have. That is a custom fan curve that is within the program already. So now what I would do is, since it knows that it want, I want this to be my custom fan curve, then I'm just going to take my mouse and I'm going to click over each fan. And what it's going to do is going to activate that package for that specific CPU. And you can't hear it, but the fans have ramped way down. You can see the numbers going way down right now. So it was going from 1300 to 1400 RPM all the way down to 670 and maybe around 700 ish. And it's way quieter than the actual quiet setting that they have. Let's say I put it back on quiet. Now you're going to start seeing things uh, start to ramp back up because I'm going to set it to quiet. But it's not really quiet. And as you can see, the RPMs are starting to shoot back up. If I put it on extreme, set them all up and it's going to go way up. Now you can probably hear the fans now. Maybe I can move the mic a little closer. Okay, now I'm going to set it back down to uh, the 3950X package. And we're going to hear it get quieter. So uh, with that being said, uh, that is how everything is set up on my computer. And uh, that's how you set up a custom fan curve for your specific CPU if you're using uh, a Ryzen chip. I'm not sure if it does the same thing for Intel, but I would assume that it does. So I hope that it was uh, very helpful for you guys. And uh, you know, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment of any other questions that you might have. And if I can help you, I will definitely make a video for it. And I try to answer all of the uh, the comments in the comment section. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, guys. Darth Skater out.